Oh, didn't see you there. There's a ton of competition in the Windows handheld space. It's honestly kind of overwhelming. Um, but I've been eyeballing uh, a device that's coming out in a few months uh, by a company called One X Player. Now, I've had devices from all of the big companies except this one. So, couldn't get my hands on a review unit, but decided to uh, check out the One X Player Mini Pro. Let's check it out. In the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be reviewing a 7840U device for you guys. But I did want to showcase that the 6800U handhelds are still worth buying. For a fraction of the cost of the newest devices, you can get something that's totally capable and still plays really well. Not as obsolete as everybody might think. If you don't want to break the bank, this might be a good option for you. I get it, we're all looking for the next big thing, and it makes sense to be a little hesitant to purchase. But, you know, if you're just waiting around for the next Steam Deck kill... Steam Deck, <laughs> the next Steam Deck killer or the next Ally killer, sure, you might want to wait till next year, but that means you're going to wait a whole year without getting your hands on one of these things and having some fun with it. You could always sell it down the road, maybe take a hit on it, but I understand that's a privileged thing to say. Um, that's just my opinion. When I opened this thing up, I was actually pretty surprised at how good it felt in the hand. Um, the fit and finish is very nice. I'm a big fan of this bone white matte finish uh, compared to the Allies like paper white. Um, yeah, it's super matte and uh, I really like the texture. There's no like grippy textures or anything like that on the device, but um, yeah, overall it felt pretty good. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of these orange accents, but I did like this better than the black and orange versions that they have. Thankfully, with the 1X Fly coming out, it looks like they're going to be a lot simpler. White and gray finish, or black and purple-ish or blue or something like that. But get rid of the orange, baby. Menu buttons are nice and clicky, nothing new there, but the, the D-pad felt pretty good. Um, low profile, but enough travel for you to feel like you have uh, some responsiveness in the and the inputs. Analog sticks are a tad smaller than your traditional console controller. Um, I would definitely opt in for uh, putting on one of those little aftermarket grips on here, the little condom things that you put on the uh, analog sticks. That could help out and make it feel a little beefier. But I feel like I adjusted to the travel of these sticks pretty well. Not a big fan of the font here. I wish they'd make it a little cleaner. Uh, looks like we're gonna have that on the 1X Fly as well, but at least it's subtle. The face buttons are flat, which I like, more like the uh, PlayStation style buttons, um, but uh, yeah, they feel like they have a, a good amount of, of travel to them, and uh, the rubber membrane doesn't feel cheap at all. Now, these are the stars of the show. I really love the bumpers and triggers on this thing. Um, compared to other handhelds, sometimes they feel cheap, and the mechanism on the hinge uh, feels like it's going to break over time, but... Uh, after messing around with this handheld, I gotta say, I really, 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 really like these triggers. Um, there's a good amount of travel to them, and there's, uh, I would say, moderate level of tension on the spring. Um, compared to something like the Ally, I mean, the Ally triggers feel okay, but they just felt a little too light and springy versus uh, something that took a little bit more force with the 1X Mini. You got your power, volume down and up, and then we got our uh, headphone jack, USB-C charging, and USB-A, which is nice. Don't think we've gotten rid of all of our USB-A devices, so this is helpful to not use like a little adapter thing. Really, really like the design of the intake on the back side. Um, it's nice and symmetrical with the device, not like one like logo looking circle or whatever all the other guys are doing. Gotta say, really like how clean the back of the device looks. It's all perfect and symmetrical. So we got a quick menu button and the keyboard button. Uh, haven't figured out how to program this to make the um, on-screen, the bigger on-screen keyboard to come up with that button, but uh, I guess it's a matter of toying around with some settings. Wish that was the case by default, but nope. Now here's their little 1X player quick menus. Um, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the fan speeds, TDP, all of that jazz in here, uh, but you have to make sure that the application is open uh, on startup, otherwise you're gonna be driving yourself crazy like I did when I first started this thing. But yeah, you can play around with the resolution. RGB effect doesn't work on this particular model because I think the black one had the RGB lighting. You can mess with RTSS to uh, run in the background while you're gaming if you want to check all the numbers and stuff. If you're a nerd like that. Um, but yeah, adjusting the brightness, volume, and all of that. 
I believe this thing is slightly lighter than the ROG Ally and it's got a good weight balance to it once it's in your hands it doesn't feel like it's digging into your palms too much. Um, that's one thing I'm really appreciating but have to realize that with the larger devices we're gonna have to have some weight to it. I get it. Maybe down the road we'll see them getting slimmer and slimmer. But uh, here are the exhausts which the fans are a lot more audible than the ROG Ally. Would hope that in the next revisions, and especially the One X Fly, the fans are a lot quieter. But when you have the game running at medium to you know max volume, you don't really notice it at all. Here's some footage of me just tearing it up in a couple games that I've been playing lately. My major complaint was definitely the screen brightness. Um, I don't play outside a whole lot, but after spending some time in my backyard and wanting to kind of just chill out with a video game, I've appreciated brighter screens a lot more. And this one, you just can't see shit. On the Ally, however, it's a lot brighter. So again, I'm hoping with the uh, revisions, we're gonna see a lot brighter screens. Now, the reason I went with this is because, yeah, it's from the same company as the One X Fly, but I wanted to see what their build quality was like, performance, software, and how fluid things felt. Um, the screen to body ratio is a very big deal for me. I know a lot of people only care about comfort and performance, but I want the device to look good. And in my opinion, having small bezels is a huge plus. So, if you want to get your hands on one of these things, I would go check out eBay, the used market, or buy directly from 1x Player themselves, and I'll drop a link below. Not an affiliate link, by the way. Come on, 1x Player. Help me out here.